Hi guys, Cade Nelson here with Apposite Technologies making a quick little video on how to install Netropy VE 4.0 and ESXi 6.5. So this is the environment I'm going to build right now. Uh, I currently have two Ubuntu boxes on here called LA and New York, uh, but it's very limited. I'm going to build this kind of middle area right here on this graph. I'm going to add Netropy VE 4.0 and then build this hub one and hub two here. So first step is to log into my ESXi server. So I will log in as root. There we go. And as we see here, my virtual machines, I have New York and LA, they're booted down, which is perfect because I'm gonna have to edit them in a minute. But the first thing I need to do is create these hub one and hub two uh, virtual switches. So I'm going to do that by clicking on networking, going to the virtual switch tab, then I'm going to add a standard virtual switch. I'll call this hub one. All right, uh, MTU 1500 is fine. The uplink one, I'm going to just kill that. We don't need that. Very important on the security uh, settings right here to turn on promiscuous mode, MAC address changes, and forge transmits. So the NetGP will not work unless you're in promiscuous mode. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create the second one. So we just created this guy. And now we're gonna create the next one, hub two, 1500 again, get rid of the link, add promiscuous MAC address changes and forge transmit. Add that, hub two, okay. Now we're gonna add port groups and assign them. So what I like to do just to keep it simple is I'm gonna add a port group, I'll just call this hub one as well. It's a port group and I'm going to assign it to hub one. I don't need a VLAN, of course it's up to you. Here you don't have to worry about the promiscuous modes and stuff. Um, you can just leave it on inherit from B switch, which works fine. So I'm gonna add that hub one. Great, now I'm gonna add another port group and call that hub two. And it's gonna assign the port two and hub two. And again, it's gonna inherit from B switch. I'm gonna add that, that's fine. So let's go make sure everything got created here. Take a look at my V switch, my port groups, great. And now we'll come back to virtual machines here. Okay, so. We've come through and we've created hub one uh, B switch and port group and a hub two V switch and port group. Now we're going to import the Netropy VE OVA image into ESXi 6.5. So I'm going to do that by creating or registering a new virtual machine. I'm going to deploy a virtual machine from an OVF or OVA file. So I'm going to click that, hit next. It's going to ask me to name it, so I will call it Netropy, uh, how about WAN Emulator, okay? I'm going to select a file or drop, so I'm going to get the OVA file that uh, I obtained off of our website or was sent to you uh, from Apposite. I'm going to load that in. I'm going to hit Next. So I can go ahead and just use my data store one, which is where it's storing this virtual machine. Now I'm going to hit next. So this is what's really important, guys. So VM network is Ethernet zero. Uh, test network A is Ethernet one and test network B is Ethernet two. So if we look at that, this is Ethernet zero, this is Ethernet one, and this is Ethernet two. So I need to assign them to the right places. So Ethernet 0 is for management. That's going to go to vSwitch 0, so or VM network. Assign that. So test network A goes to hub 1, and then test network B goes to hub 2. Okay, so I have now spread the interfaces out 0, 1, 2. And uh, disk provisioning thin is fine and power on automatically is fine if you want that. I'll hit, uh, hit next, and then I'll hit finish, and we'll see it get added here and start to boot up. Okay, so now let's look at LA and New York. If I come in and I edit my LA Ubuntu, 
I can see it only has one network device. So that one network device is going to DHCP here. And I want to add a second network device and connect it to Hub 1. So I'm going to go ahead and add a network adapter. Right? It already chose Hub 1, but that's because it's the first choice. So I'm going to save that. All right, so now if we look here, we have E0 and Hub 1 connected to LA. Let's do the same for New York. Except for I'm going to put it on Hub 2. So add network adapter. This goes to Hub 2. Save. And let's power it on. And let's power on LA. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the Netropy, and I'm actually going to click on the console and log in as admin, admin, password admin. All right, and since it's set up as DHCP, I just want to know what IP address it got. So I'll do an MGMT, which stands for Management Show. And I see that it got assigned the IP address of 192.168. 168.53. So let's take a look at that. 192.168.168.53. Great, I can see I'm coming into the login screen here. And I can log in as user admin password admin. All right. And I'm going to accept my end user agreement. And now I'm getting a VE warning just telling me hey, if your server isn't up to, up to par, don't expect us to hit par. And then the license key, actually the license key is already loaded on here. I have it here, expires in 36 days. So I don't need to do much more here, but I can see port one is up and port two is up. So that means that this port is up and that port is up and it's pretty much ready. So let's go take a look at what's going on on our LA and New York um, Ubuntu boxes. So we go back to my virtual machines. Let's take a look at LA. Now log in here. It's taken a second to load up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and open this terminal. All right, do an if config. All right, I see that this guy got his um, DHCP address right here, and that's on ENS160, but we need to configure ENS192. Actually, it already is configured, and it has the right IP address on it, 10.10.10.10, .10 .10 .10, all right? So that's good. Let's look at the map. We can see here 10.10.10.10. Good to know. All right, let's go double check New York now. Let's open terminal here, do if config, and now we have 10.10.10.11. So that means since I'm on 10.10.10.11 and I ping 10.10.10.10, so if I'm on 11 and I ping .10, it should traverse through the Netropy. So let's do a ping, ping 10.10.10.10. All right, so we see it's pinging. Now if I log on to the Netropy and I look at the bypass, I can see my ping traffic coming through here. That's great, I see my ping traffic. So everything's working well. If I were to cancel this ping, we would see my ping traffic stop, which we do see that happen right there. So everything's set up. So now let's have some fun. Um, I'm gonna set up a ping. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna emulate a network. So how I'll do that is I'll just click on here. I'm going to click on my path, or I can click over here, or I can click this little gear. 
and I can either rename this path, which I'll do. I'll call this a 100 megabit link 100 millisecond latency. Okay. Um, so I'm going to make port 1 100 megabits. So what I'm doing is I'm assigning this port to be 100 megabits. And then on the opposite port, 100 megabits. Okay. And now I'm just going to add some delay. I'll add a constant delay. So I'm going to add some latency or delay here in both directions. So what I've done is from port 1 to port 2 will be 50 milliseconds, and port 2 to port 1 will be 50 milliseconds. So right now I'm pinging from New York, which is on this side. It'll come in, get 100 uh, megabits, um, throttle down to 100 megabits, 50 mi millisecond latency, hit LA, and then come back again 100 megabits, and then 50 more milliseconds latency. So that will make it have 100 millisecond ping time. So let's take a look at my ping. Right now we have like 0.3 milliseconds, so it's not even a full milliseconds. And you can see my default action right here is set to the 100 megabit link, which is the one I just created here. I'll turn on emulation, and there we have 100 milliseconds. So we know we're working. So this is just kind of scratching the service of how the Netropy VE works. This was just a quick install. I suggest watching some of our other videos we have for setting up endpoints and setting up multiple paths. This was just a real quick intro. This is the easy way to do it. We can do a lot uh, more detailed things on here. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at support at apposite-tech.com. Enjoy your Netropy VE, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, I hope you're able to get all your tests done with uh, excellent results. Thanks a lot.